Hey, what's going on guys? It's me Aiden. Welcome back to another video. Now today, in case you have not seen, we've got two new Scenti Bubbler trailers. I can't play them today for you in this video, so if you have not seen them, I will leave the link down in the description below if you want to go watch them. Definitely go check them out if you have not, but I wrote down some notes on them, so I'm going to be talking about them today. Now, one of those trailers was from Gloob, and then the other one was from the official Miraculous YouTube channel. Now, in the Gloob one, they actually confirmed that this episode will be airing on July 6th at 7.30 p.m. Brazil time, or 6.30 p.m. EST, so we will be seeing that on July 6th. But yeah, let's just go ahead and talk about these promos, shall we? So we see Marinette having a bad dream, and obviously we see the big, like, oh my goodness, Shadow Moth and Alia working together, big clickbait thing. Definitely got us in the first half of this one. <laughs> anyway, so Marinette has this bad dream. It feels like maybe she made a mistake with Alia, so she decides she needs to go talk with Alia about something. Maybe that she wants to get the Fox Markiels back. I'm not sure. Something probably along those lines would be like, okay. We need to establish rules or Hawkmoth's trying to or probably going to come after you or something like that. So they just need to have a deep discussion about like uh, where to move on from here because Marinette is a little bit worried that Shadow Moth might be trying something, which spoiler alert, he does. So my guess as to what happens, Marinette comes over to Alia's house and is like, hey, I need to talk with you. And then Nino just happens to be over because, you know, that's sort of how that thing works. <laughs> Um, but uh, when Nino tries to join them, Ollie is like, eh, actually, this is between me and her, so goodbye, Nino. And Nino gets all sad because, you know, I would be sad, you know, if, if, if that, because we have to assume that this keeps happening off screen, right? So we have to assume that Marinette and Ollie have to talk in private a lot. So Nino, this isn't like the first time this has happened to Nino, right? Because it was the first time. I don't know, I don't feel like he'd be this upset about it, but obviously if this has happened enough times, he's gonna start feeling a little bit bad, like what are they, are they like talking about me? What's going on? So obviously a pretty good victim for Shadow Moth, and Shadow Moth is probably keeping a closer eye on Alia and trying to target people around her because obviously he knows that she has the Fox Miraculous, so uh, yeah, he's gonna try to target her, which he does in this episode. And this is what I've been saying for the longest time. Hawk Moth needs to call Alia and be like, look, I'm going to get your family and your friends and everybody close to you if you don't surrender to me and give me secrets. That's that's all he has to do. And that's that's good. That's what he's doing in this episode. Good, congratulations, Hawk Moth. You figured out how to win at life. Obviously, you fail, but good start, I guess. <laughs> so anyway, Hawk Moth or Shadow Moth, uh, finally blackmails Alia, which is something that he, sh he should have been doing to all the holders from the start. I mean, when he was watching them in Optigami, he saw that they weren't all super special, but as far as Alia goes, this is a good step up from here. Which I guess this is the episode or a few episodes after Optigami, so I guess more continuity thrown in there because this is relatively close to when he found out that Alia was not just another, you know, holder that Marinette has distributed to, right? This is like, she is a little bit more special. So uh, this is pretty good continuity, I like it. Now what's interesting here is Marinette actually gets captured. So we have to see Alia and Cat Noir, which I mean, we see Cat Noir getting captured too. But we see Alia have to figure out this whole situation by herself for now. Uh, and then eventually Pegabug comes in and saves her. Now one thing that I thought was really cool is that Shadow Moth actually comes out in this episode. And if Hawk Moth slash Shadow Moth actually comes out in an episode, that's how you know it's a good episode. That was one of the reasons, like one of the big reasons why I really liked the episode Ladybug. Because I was not expecting Hawk Moth to actually come out with Mayura, and it was it was really good. That's, that's part of the reason why I really liked it. So yeah, I'm just really excited for this episode. It's looking really good. Um, and, you know, if you ever see a Hawk Moth out in the open, that's a pretty good indicator that it's going to be a good episode. Like, just look at Optigami, right? He went to the news station or wherever they were. That was a good episode. So, I, I'm telling you, there's a formula there. Now, like I said earlier, we see Pegabug. But, what's interesting is we see that, you know, as she's transforming, she is in the bubble. So, does that mean she transformed as Marinette? Which, I, I mean, we know she can. And I guess... If Kaliki comes and uses just just her powers by herself, then she can come in and you know be like, "Hey, Marinette, I saw that you were in trouble, so I'm here to help, and I can teleport you out of the bubble," which makes sense, right? So that's probably what's going on here. But who knows? Maybe Alia went over to Marinette's miracle box and was like, "Hey, we we need some help." Actually, can't can't she 
can't Marinette use her yo-yo to just, I think, maybe, <laughs> I, I think, uh, yeah, now that I think about it, Marinette, after she transforms into Ladybug, she has, like, she has a direct connection to the Miracle Box, right? So she could just take out the Pegasus Miraculous, or the, the Horse Miraculous, I guess is what it is, and just <laughs> be like, yeah, so I need your help here. So I guess, you know, as soon as she transforms into Ladybug, which she could have a hard time doing, since, you know, obviously she's in a bubble where there's other people around, so she's going to be have to be careful about that. But after that, it's not really a big issue because assuming that she can transform into Ladybug, she can just escape with the Horse Miraculous, which we see her do. But it's cool that we finally see Pegabug. We didn't know if we'd be seeing this at all, but now we officially do. So sort of going back to the Shadow Moth comes out and actually is out in the open like, like a sociable guy. <laughs> Uh, you know, Ladybug and Hawk Moth, or Shadow Moth, get to, get to have like a really close confrontation, and they don't get to have this very often, and I don't know. I think this is just a cool moment. I really like when this stuff happens, because it, it, I don't know, it makes Hawk Moth feel beatable, right? Because whenever, whenever he's just in his cave, right, it, it sort of feels like, oh, I can't do anything about it, right? But when he's out in the open, this actually gives a chance for Ladybug to maybe follow him back, right? So, I, yeah, I don't know, it just, it just feels like a vulnerable state for Shadow Moth, and it's like, I mean, we know he's not going to be beaten here, right? But it's sort of like, you know, if this was a series where you couldn't predict that, you could maybe be like, ooh, well, since he's out now, could Ladybug maybe, maybe follow him back and maybe, you know, win or something like that? So, I don't know, that just builds up some sort of suspense there. Even though we know he's not going to be beaten or that's not going to happen, we can we can get that sort of sense that feeling that you know ooh maybe there's a chance you know and i think that just makes it more enjoyable now the final thing i wanted to point out is that marinette has a cup of coffee or something here i don't know what's up with it it's not the lucky charm because the lucky charm would be you know red and black polka dotted so i don't know what it is but it's some sort of coffee or, or tea or something it looks like a coffee mug not necessarily a mug but a coffee cup i guess you know something like like you went to starbucks or something and got a coffee cup right so i don't know what that's all about but i thought i'd point it out because it's going to have some sort of significance maybe kaliki just likes drinking coffee i don't know or maybe marinette needed some energy so she thought that she'd get a coffee or something i don't know interesting and a side note here is Nino actually going to be getting a senti monster? Because it doesn't really look like it, right? So, like, are we going to be seeing that at all or not? I don't know. I feel like a lot of things or a lot of potential is wasted um, from Hawk Moth just not using the Peacock Miraculous, like, at all. We see him use it a few times, but, you know, like, in times like this, every single person this season should have had a senti monster, and not everybody has. So, I don't know. Maybe one of the bubblers, like, like if there are multiple bubblers, maybe one of them will just be a Senny monster or something. I don't know. I hope he starts using it a little bit more because it feels like wasted potential. So, yeah, I don't know. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. But yeah, I think that's all I wanted to talk about. Uh, that, that's all I have on my notes. So, that's going to be it for this video. If you enjoyed, you can leave a like and subscribe for more content similar to this. If you think I missed something that I should have talked about, let me know down in the comments. And I'll talk to you in the next one. Goodbye. Why you gotta be like that?